Here I have all the pieces needed for a three post multi-tier trophy. I've laid them all out on the table so I can compare them to the packing list and use the instructions included in the kit. Now you want to remember if you've purchased multiple sizes of trophies, then you need to measure your columns and your rods to make sure they are the correct ones for the trophy that you're trying to build. The first step is to connect the metal rods using couplers to create the correct length for the trophy that you're building. It's also important to pay attention that the short threaded end of the rod is the end that you attach your trim to. In this case, it's an eagle and that the long threaded section of the rod is left for the bottom so that you can attach your base. I've got the three rods put together for this trophy. Next thing is to have the lid. Now the lids have a top and a bottom. The top is beveled and the bottom has a recess for or a countersink for a hex nut. It helps to put the rods through while holding it out in front of you rather than trying to do it on the table. And once you've got the rods passed through, we're going to lay it down so we can attach the check rings and the columns to build the height of the trophy. Now the check rings have a lip that needs to always face away from the wood. That way the round column can fit inside and seat onto the check ring. If you have the check ring upside down, you can crush it. So you put your check rings and columns and then check ring again and then the next lid and just keep working your way through the instructions to get these pieces put together. Now you can see I've got the check rings and columns and check rings, then a lid and the last set of columns and check rings. The next step is to install the base. Now some bases use ferrules and some bases use hex nuts. They're both here. You need to check your instructions and see which ones you're supposed to use for your kit. I insert the ferrule into a magnetic nut driver and then carefully install the threaded rods into the holes on the base just being careful not to push the whole assembly apart. Once I've got it in there I use a ferrule and it helps to hold on to the eagle or the trim at the top while you just get the thread started. You want to be careful not to cross thread and uh, once you get that you move on to the next set of ferrules and get it tightened up. Now you don't want to get it too tight the goal is to verify that the check rings are seated with the columns. If you have the check rings outside of the columns, you can crush them and damage them. So don't get it too tight, just get your thread started and then go through and check all of your check rings with the columns while it's still loose. The next step is to tighten it up just enough so that you can align it and get it completely tight. The next step is to line up our trophy especially the trim or eagles at the top and our columns to the way that we like them. This is our firecracker blue so I like to show off the firecrackers and then once I get it where I want just tighten it up so that it won't move when it's being handled. No need to over tighten it, you can break stuff that way. Just good and snug so that it can't change positions. All right. The next part is the upper section of the trophy. We're going to attach a coupler to our threaded rod and the figure to the coupler. This trophy uses a baseball figure, but we've got hundreds to choose from on our website. I'm going to put the cup lid through, then the cup goes through the rod and attach the lid to the cup. Use our marble lid, which you want to make sure the shiny side goes up, and our rectangular column. Now I want to pass it through the lid here, use a nut driver for this hex nut. Now this section, you're going to have to do a little bit of alignment and movement. So I like to do these on a three post standing up. Just get it lined up. And when I do my final tightening, I hold the figure so that it's exactly where I want it. A little bit of adjustment. And there we go. Now the next section is the middle trim. Again, we went with a baseball theme, so we're using this trim piece here, but you've got plenty that you can pick from and make the trophy your own. The last part here for the trim is the first place. I'm going to put that on the bottom through the base, and then it's onto our nameplate. There we go. That's easy enough. Now, the nameplate has double-sided tape on the back. You want to peel the double-sided tape off 
and align it with your fingers because once it's stuck, it's stuck and the nameplate is made of metal so we don't want to bend it. Take the nameplate here, line it up and drop it. All right, press it down with my fingers and you now have our three-post multi-tier trophy from trophykits.com.